All right, we continue on this very busy Thursday, Central Valley Talk. I'm Mike Scott, joined right now by Tiffany Dominguez, who uh, drove in from Visalia today. Healthy Habits, Mind, Body, and Spirit. It's life coaching. Did I cover it all? You did. <laughs> How are you today? I'm doing great. How's things in Visalia? Well, it's Visalia, but we One have of my favorite community. downtowns in the whole valley. Yes, we have a beautiful downtown You area. really do. We you do. really do. Yeah. Now, where is your place located in Visalia? Um, I'm really located. I'm just kind of... Um, you float around? I float around. <laughs> I do, yeah. So you, you go out to wherever I the people out. need you to go? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what, what exactly is the service you provide? So I'm a life coach, and for most people who don't kind of understand the concept of being a life coach or what life coaching actually is, I kind of like to relate it to... Um, a personal trainer. So in a gym setting, a personal trainer would coach you through getting your body fit, nutrition, and all of that we sort of thing. We just had elite fitness which we on. Just had. Yeah. Um, now you're going to take care of the other. But in life coaching, it's, um, it's hiring a personal coach to help you get past where you want to be or to obtain those goals that you're reaching for or to un, um, undo some of the things that have caused you, your belief systems that are prohibiting you from moving forward in life. So it's hiring someone to help you move forward. Hmm. So what what can you bring to the mix that I can't bring myself? Um, probably to be able to help you. Um, we Okay, so we get our beliefs based on our life experiences mm -hmm. and things that people tell us, right? So in those life experiences, unfortunately, sometimes something bad happens to us. And so in those bad experiences, the easy out is to go, oh, I'm never going to do that again, right? Or I don't want to do that. That wasn't safe. It wasn't fun. My job is to help you go in and look at those experiences and beliefs that you created based on those experiences and help you untangle them and learn the real life lesson that was behind that bad experience. When you, when you undo the past of the, the experience that you had and we untangle that, what happens is, is new clarity and you begin to move forward. So things that were prohibiting you before based on your bad experience or your, or your belief system in that is now no longer holding you back. And what we find when we do that is that our life is tangled in all different facets, all connected together. So it's kind of like I like to explain it as um, for women, in our, if you go to the bottom of our jewelry box, um, you could have necklaces all tangled up. And it feels like impossible. But if you just loosen one, what happens to the rest? They begin to easily come undone. It's the same thing in our life. When we untangle one belief area in our life, it easily begins to let us see what, where that belief has fallen in place in other areas. And in other words, helping us to remove those as well. Right. Well, so what's the difference between what you do and like a psychologist does? Um, that's always a fascinating question, but I, I kind of like to um, make it lighthearted and say the difference really between me and a psychologist is I'm not going to prescribe you any drugs. I'm not going to prescribe anything for you or diagnose you. Um, you can't. You don't have a medical that's license. That's right. right? Yeah. So I'm go we're just going to work on it one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to hold you accountable. There, I do provide assignments, not necessarily like school where you're going to write an assignment out, mm -hmm. but like... Um, different things to help you move forward, different things that are going to help you become more self-aware of things that you're doing, maybe self-sabotaging yourself at times. So we're going to become aware of it. I believe the more aware we become of something, the greater chance we have of correcting it. Yeah. It, it drives me crazy when I hear people say, I, I can't do that. I don't, yeah. I'm like, change your thinking and start saying, I can do That's that. That's right. I want to do that. I want to achieve that. That's you, right. Is that what you stress also? Well, yes, but you know, it's funny because um, I think it was an old saying on Saturday Night Live of, I, I think I can, and people like me, and all this sort of stuff that if you repeat those things over and over again, eventually you'll believe them. And I really don't go with that. Um, now, see, I do. I, I Because I believe that... Well, I mean, you can say something over and over again, but until you really believe that, it's just words coming out of your mouth. So what we have to do is attach it in our life to things that we can begin to believe or untangle yeah. a belief that we have so that we can go, yeah, I'm okay, I'm good, I can do this. Or I don't want to say I can't anymore. I can because now I know I can. So then now it's not just words coming out of your mouth. It's actually something in your heart that you believe about yourself helping <laughs> you to move forward. <laughs> you, know, you know why people watch soap operas? Because <laughs> they say, well, my life's not too bad compared to what's right. going on with those people. <laughs> and we do like to compare that, you know, uh, we do because we want to feel better about ourselves. But realistically, comparing ourselves never really gets us where we want to be. What gets us to where we want to be is to start changing those things within ourselves so we can see the truth. All right. 
So how can folks reach you or find out more about Healthy Habits? So they can go to my website. That's www.healthyhabitsmbs, which stands for Mind, Body, Spirit, um, dot com. Or they can email me, and that email address is healthyhabitsmbs dot, or at gmail. Um, and you can reach me also by phone, which is 559-909-0564. There you go. Tiffany Dominguez from Healthy Habits. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you. All right. Say hi to everybody in Visalia for us. And we'll be back with more on Central Valley Talk.